Yes, I love it. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's my favorite. Um, we had a good time recording it too. We did uh, part of it at Paisley Park, uh, Princess Studios. Uh, we did part, at, part of it at, uh, the song I did with Raphael Sadiq was at his studio in Los Angeles. And then we recorded a lot uh, in Europe. And so we were really happy about that. And then we have some uh, horn players on there too. That's from uh, Copenhagen. And uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. I'm very pleased with uh, all of the mixes and everything. Uh, and uh, the band is very, very happy with it. And everybody that's heard it so far, um, they just knocked out about it. So I don't say anything. I just put it on and let them, you know, I don't try to influence their opinion or anything. But And uh, we have uh, some remakes, um, not many. We have a, a couple that we had to do. Um, we have... Uh, a Stevie Wonder song on there that when we play it live, people just really go crazy for it. Last night in Prague, it was the same thing. We played that and they were like, wow. So we have that uh, on that, uh, on the CD too. Well, I, I actually performed on his CD that's out now. And, uh, and so he said, well, I'm going to perform on yours, too. <laughs> and so that's and, and then we go way back. His his group that he was in, Tony, 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 they were all raised up on Graham Central Station and Slide the Family Stone and um, yeah, more so Graham Central Station because they were older then. And uh, and then they went back and got into the Sly and the Family Stone stuff, which is pretty much the same thing with Prince. You know, he was raised up on Graham Central Station and then went back and got more into Sly and the Family Stone because he was a lot younger when we did like Woodstock and things like that, you know. So those, that, that, was, a, that was like a natural connection between me and Raphael Sadiq and me and Prince. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I've been living in Minnesota now for the last 14 years. We're originally from Oakland, California, as is the rest of my band now. They all live in the Bay Area, um, as we call it. And uh, so that's where I was originally from. Then we moved to Los Angeles for a while. And that's where uh, my wife, Tina, and I, uh, that's where our daughter was born in Los Angeles. Then we moved to Montego Bay, Jamaica for like seven years. And then from there to Minnesota, which is where we've been the last 14 years. And uh, so our next door neighbor for the last 14 years has been Prince. So, which is right around the corner from, you know, where we can record. So, you know, we're all like in the same family. Um, actually, I listen to it all the time to try to pick a favorite and, you know, I, I can't really pinpoint one song that stands out more than the rest because they're so different, you know, um, and, and when folks from the, uh, uh record label listening to it today, um, the, the order of the songs was commented on because um, the songs are, are different, but the, 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 the way they flow one into the other and the sequence of the songs, um, it makes it like, um, how did he put it? He said it felt like a performance. You know, um, he felt that he was kind of like uh, at a concert and you get a complete performance you got your highs and then you got your more mellow things and you know it tells a story and that's really what I was trying to accomplish I really wanted to tell a complete story it's like when you pick up a book it can't just be all this you know it has to tell a story a good beginning a good body 
and you know a good conclusion and I think we've been able to to accomplish that you know so I knew we had it with the songs but to sequence them sequence them in the right order was very important and so I think we got that especially with the comments from the man from the label <laughs>
it was going to be no drums. We can get rid of the drummer and just be her and I, piano and bass. Now I didn't have a drummer. So then I would thump the strings to make up for not having that back, you know, that bass drum thing. And then I would pluck the strings to make up for not having that backbeat, the snare drum and stuff. So I was kind of like playing drums on the bass, really. And uh, that's really how I came up with the style. And uh, then when Sly Stone, who was a radio DJ at the time, uh, heard me playing with my mother at this club in San Francisco, I call Relax with Yvonne. Um, he really loved what he heard and asked me to join his band, which didn't have a name at first. And I joined the band, we rehearsed, and and he named the band Sly and the Family Stone. So it was through that band that my thumping and plucking became popular. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now it looks like you you, well, you are have been in the business for a lot of years. Is there yeah. anything that has, has changed to the good and or to the bad? Oh, it's all good. <laughs> yeah, I cut my first record. I was like 13, and uh, that was on guitar. You know, and uh, it's just been all good since then. You know, many records with Sly and the Family Stone, many with Graham Central Station, other people recorded with Aretha Franklin and the Crusaders, and just tons of folks. You know. And so it's been all good, you know, and um, now we're getting to go places that, you know, in my whole life I've never been. I've never been here <laughs> and I've never been to Prague in the Czech Republic like we played last night, which turned out fantastic. We've we've been to Istanbul, the International Jazz Festival there, had never been there and just places all over Europe and even in the U.S that I'd never played before. And we have a lot of wonderful festivals coming up uh, this year. So it's been beautiful, it's all good. Now with the new CD coming out too, um, that's gonna be great because we're gonna have, you know, some of those songs from the new CD to add to the show. And that's always a lot of fun, it's always refreshing, you know. And, you know, we kind of get a chance to see how crowds react. I won't play songs, but I'll play little things that I know that's related and see how the crowd react. So I get a good feeling from the reaction. So I, I think that this is going to be a good record for us, a good CD.